So the new fuel sending unit came in today and we're gonna pop this guy in. Safer. Yeah. If you want the car rolling over to you when it's jacked up. So now we've got the car in the air, we've got access to the fuel sending unit itself. You should be able to take this out without dropping the tank unless there's been a modification done. So first we'll remove the ground wire. Now that the ground wire is removed, we can remove the gauge cluster sender wire. Now with the gauge wire removed, we can work on the fuel fitting itself. Depending on how long ago you ran your car, this may be pressurized, so be ready for gas to come pouring out of the line itself. Maybe wise to spray this with some PB Blaster beforehand, because it is tight. Now with the fuel line removed, we're gonna remove the rest of the flathead screws holding the fuel sending unit into the tank. Now with all five of the retaining screws out, we can pull the sender out. Hopefully we do not have over half a tank. Our gas will come pouring out as well. Now the old sender has a torn sock on the pickup. So if nothing else, it was good to remove this to change that out float has fuel in it so clearly the float was leaking so maybe that's why it wasn't going above half this resistor may still be good you can see the gasket was pretty toast as well now whenever you read an install online about one of these it says something about filling the tank and then checking the position of the the float but what I can do here is compare it to the original and make the arm bend exactly the same and then we shouldn't have any issues. Looks like we're good on that. Maybe a little bend here. See the fuel leaking out of the, the float itself as it heats up in the sun. You can actually see some cracks here in the brass. All right, so now they're bent to exactly the same angle. New gasket is already around, ready to go in the tank. And we also check these little tabs here to make sure that the range of motion is the same on both, which it is. So it looks like we're good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. Getting it back in is just as tricky as taking it out. So you kind of got to remember how you got it to come out before. Put the float in first. Tuck the sock in with it. Take it all in from the side. This being a rubber gasket, you're probably better off just putting all the screws in so that they can press through the holes in the gasket itself. Then tighten them all evenly like a rim. Remembering not to over tighten the one that the ground goes into until the ground is installed. Now, now we need to get this hose back down to where it needs to be. Oh shit. Looks like the alignment on the original hose to the new sender is a little different. So we gotta bend this hose. All right, fucking finally. Now we can reconnect the gauge wire. There. So now what we should see is a fuel reading of some sort. All right, empty, great. So I'm probably out of gas. So if you liked the video, click the like button. If you want to subscribe to see more, hit the subscribe button. And as always, guys, keep on modding.